you're a fan of the film Brightburn, go ahead and check the comment section down below. I'm going to have a link to a Facebook group. Join that Facebook group and follow the follow the instructions on a Brightburn post for your chance to win a free digital code to Brightburn. Enjoy the video, guys. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So it looks like we finally may have some movement regarding Jeepers Creepers 4. Everything in this video should be taken with a grain of salt because this is not an official announcement. This is just more speculation. Uh, I know a lot of people, they love hearing me talk about Jeepers Creepers and any and all things Jeepers Creepers will be discussed on this channel, if at all possible. <laughs> so Jeepers Creepers 4 is apparently moving towards development, according to IMDb. Now, this comes from an article written by the iHorror website, iHorror.com. This article was written by Timothy Rawls, I believe is how you pronounce this gentleman's name. Uh, starting off the article, he says that recent movement on the Jeepers Creepers 4 IMDb page has us curious about what's happening on the project. Now, everyone is very familiar with the fact that we know a script is at least done for Jeepers Creepers 4. And I can tell you that from what my direct source has told me, and when I say direct, I'm talking about uh, a gentleman who was casted. To once reprise the role not reprise but play the role of trisha's son when the movie was titled cathedral and he has contact with victor salva he told me that all the jeepers Cre all the jeepers creepers 4 script is essentially jeepers creepers cathedral uh but repackaged and revitalized to of course fit in the modern times and a lot of things in regards to what's going on in that script m can be hinted at at the ending of jeepers creepers 3 in the very end of Jeepers Creepers 3, we catch up with Trisha and she's sitting in front of like an iMac, it looks like. And there's like news articles and news printouts on her table. So what you can see there is articles like Poho County Tribune. And it visibly says what's actually going on at the Taggart Barn. So this lets us know that this this was in fact set in that time period where we got in the end of Jeepers Creepers 2, Iraq in 2023 something's going on at the taggart farm and the poho county tribune which is a news outlet in that area is covering it so the taggart barn and everything that they're doing is getting news coverage the creeper is possibly in this news article because all it says is the poll all it says is what's going on in the taggart barn the taggart's names are mentioned at the end of jeepers creepers 3 and a news article that's on trish's desk so we know Jeepers Creepers 4 will possibly have something to do with that and address that, what's going on in that barn. We'll possibly pick up in the Taggart barn with Ray Wise's character of Tub Sr. Or not Tub Sr., uh, Taggart, Jack Taggart Sr. and Jack Jr. We know helped him in Jeepers Creepers 2. But getting back into the article here, it makes a very clear mention that if you know anything about IMDb, it is as reliable as Wikipedia at times. And that is very true. Anyone can edit the pages and any information, again, should be taken with a grain of salt. Uh, but on the Jeepers Creepers 4 page, and I can attest to this because I recall seeing this, there's been a lot of activity on it. Now, again, this could just be somebody going in there and editing it just for the sake of editing it. But one particular person in particular who's sticking out to me is one of the producers from Jeepers Creepers 2 and Jeepers Creepers 3, who is also the head of Myriad Myriad Pictures, which has been the financing company involved with the past two sequels. They were involved with Jeepers Creepers 2, or not the financing company, but the production companies uh, responsible for the financing involved with Jeepers Creepers 2 and Jeepers Creepers 3. He's the head of Myriad Pictures. Uh he is essentially he's listed here as the executive producer or he's listed here as the producer once again so that's interesting to me because of the fact that i know that that wasn't the case a couple of days ago with the last time i checked this page and also it's not there anymore but jonathan breck was listed there to star in the film of course he would star in the movie an, an interesting thing that you'll also notice on this imdb page if you want to get into it and start speculating uh, Victor Salva is not listed as director. He's listed as being written by or based on characters by Victor Salva. So perhaps the script that we're that is being used is re, is being written by someone entirely different. Because we know what a script was written for Jeepers Creepers 4 by Victor Salva. Gina Phillips revealed this in an interview in 2017, either shortly before or after Jeepers Creepers 3 it came out. She made mentions of the fact that the script 
would give us some back 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 some backstory on what Trish has been up to for the past couple of years since she lost her brother in between Jeepers Creepers 1, 2, and 3, and now if 4, if it ever happens. If this is true, that movement is being made to actually get this project up and running. So we know that's what Victor Salva's script entails, some details about Trish, but maybe we're not using that script. Maybe, some, maybe something might just be going on where Victor Salva and Myriad Pictures and whatever the hell is going on with this project they've worked it out where victor salva will not be as hands-on with it as he has been in the past this might mean that he's not directing it unfortunately and he might not also be the writer of it but still i don't think he has sold the rights I, all i think this means is that he's just not going to be the one helming the project we might not be getting his script that he wrote we might be getting a script from a brand new individual. Some people have speculated the chances of us having Lay Wanell doing Jeepers Creepers as a writer and director. I think that would be very cool. Lay Wanell was actually who I was touching on in my reboot video. I was trying to make mention of James Wan and Lay Wanell possibly helming a Jeepers Creepers movie and doing their own take on it. But it's still being Jeepers Creepers 4, of course. Uh, that would be something interesting to see. Uh, I, I'm really excited to see if anything actually comes of this, if this is even true. I don't really believe it is 100% anything to really get too excited about because Jonathan Breck, again, as I mentioned, was listed there to star in the film. Now he's no longer there. There was another gentleman that was listed to star there as well. Now, this gentleman that was listed there, he might very well be the person who made these changes to the IMDb page, which is why I'm saying take everything with a grain of salt. Jonathan Brink is no longer listed there. So, and he, and the article from iHorror, they reached out to Jonathan Breck's agent to get clarification on his possible association with this project. And the agent apparently had this to say, there's nothing to say really. We have had no contact with anyone. However, that doesn't mean that something isn't being worked on. Jeepers Creepers 3 showed that status for 12 years. So, but already off the bat and again this whole article in itself could be fabricated we don't i have no idea how truthful or how how much of this is fabricated but going off of that jonathan breck's agent is being very quick to deny his involvement with it but i want everyone to keep this in mind jeepers creepers 3 faced a lot of backlash protest i've actually never even seen a movie get protest outside of just one i've heard about powder being protest when victor salva worked on powder but i've never really heard of any other movies being protested in my lifetime other than jeepers creepers 3 it got shut down when it was supposed to film in canada because jeepers creepers 3 was supposed to film in canada originally back in 2016 it got shut down and they had to find a new they had to keep finding distribution deals and keep trying to find out where they were going to film it when they ultimately decided on louisiana and then we had casting announcement with like a few a, a legacy actor got announced adrian barbu got a reported to star in jeepers creepers 3 then she came out and said she wasn't starring in it we had so we had like a lot of people possibly joining the project and stepping down once they found out what possibly i'm guessing information about victor salva and we know that the premiere of jeepers creepers 3 got shut down as well so already off the bat with all that turmoil and all that hell you had to go through to get that movie made it's not that hard to believe that they are going to try to shoot this under the rug. And when I say shoot it under the rug, this project might very well be getting worked on and we might not know anything until it's done. Now, something as famous as the Creeper and someone as when I say famous, this this character is a very popular character. The minute I upload Jeepers Creepers videos, you guys are instantly watching. And even before I had people who came to my channel, this is how my channel started growing. Jeepers Creepers videos, Jeepers Creepers videos, Jeepers Creepers videos. If you upload anything in regards to Jeepers Creepers, it's a good chance you'll get a lot of a lot of views if you're putting the proper tags in your video descriptions and everything. There is a demand for this series to be continuing. There is a demand from the there is a fan base out there, but it needs to be done with the proper budget, the proper filmmaker, and a script that is going to do what came before it justice. And a lot of people have talked about Victor Salva being the director and the writer in this current climate. And I don't and I don't agree or think this would be the proper time to even try to do a Jeepers Creepers for if the plan is to keep Victor Salva in the director's chair, keep him as the writer. 
because everything going on with Sinistate right now, there's a lot of controversy going on with Fangoria and the Sinistate. Very disgusting uh, news that just came out a couple of days ago. All this uproar with all this stuff going on in Hollywood and the, the kids that are constantly being abused in Hollywood. Everyone's speaking out about Hollywood pedophiles and the whole Corey Feldman thing. So putting Jeepers Creepers 4 out in a climate like this, if you're still going to have Victor Salva very hands on with it, I don't think that's going to be the best case scenario here. And then also keep in mind, earlier this year, we were supposed to have a cast reunion of Jonathan Breck, Gina Phillips and Justin Long. That was supposed to take place at the Texas Frightmare event. That got pushed back to September later this year, I believe, due to COVID-19. And unfortunately, what this tells me is that I'm going to now speculate with this. If this is, in fact, true, were we going to get something told to us or disclosed about this during that during that uh, reunion? Will we find out something about Jeepers Creepers 4 later this year during this still planned reunion that's supposed to occur at Texas Frightmare? Will we have a brand new director? Will we have a brand new writer? Is Jeepers Creepers 4 actually being worked on? This, this again, all of this that I just talked about in this video needs to be taken with a grain of salt. IMDb is not a 100% reliable source. Anyone can edit those pages. Jonathan Breck's agent did deny it, but I wouldn't be too shocked if everyone would deny it just for the sake of... They're going to try to keep this project on the down low with all the backlash that came from the previous movie. Um, and then also I want to get into the fact that if you end up making this film, keep in mind, it does need to have a budget that is going to do it justice. If and it's not even it's not even a matter of fact of having a, a high budget like 20 million or anything like that. Whatever your budget is that you're given, whether it be seven, eight, six million, work with it better than what Jeepers Creepers 3 did. Jeepers Creepers 3 was off to a pretty good start when it was in the dark time. Then it started adding in all this stuff. Go Like, just go back to the basics. The truck doesn't need to be souped up like that. It driving fast as it was, being as old as it was, is perfectly fine. That's enough. We do not need all this extra stuff. Do not have the creeper in broad daylight with this colorful lighting. The cinematography in Jeepers Creepers 3 is beautiful, but the film came off as very cartoonish because it's not nothing about it is very menacing the daytime is overly joyful the way it looks it looks very cartoonish it comes across as if this isn't even a horror film and just stick to the basics don't try to do things that you know are going to require a lot of cgi that will look come off as cartoonish on on a final product go back to the basics who would direct this movie? If it's Victor Salva and it's being written by Victor Salva, just expect a lot of backlash. Expect a lot of controversy. Don't expect this movie to even go to theaters anyway. It's possibly going to go straight to VOD. But, of course, I'm excited to see what comes of this if they're still going to do the idea of putting this 23 years later is yet to be seen. I'm pretty sure that's what, what everybody's going to want to do anyway. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.